Uh, I'm Giuseppe Ristagno from the Laboratory of Cardiovascular Clinical Pharmacology, directed by Dr. Latini at the Mario Negri Institute. And today I'm going to present uh, uh, the results from this study, uh, investigating the effect uh, of a modified embryonic mesangioblast expressing PLGF, MMP9, or both, after myocardial infarction in the mouse. Uh, uh, this study uh, was not focused on uh, um, characterizing the cells because uh, uh, the maps or mesangioblasts have been already uh, well characterized and data are published by uh, all the previous studies performed by Dr. Kosu uh, together with Dr. Latini. Uh, anyway, here I summarize uh, uh, the, um, some of the characteristics of, of the cells that we used. Uh, the uh, embryonic mesangioblasts are uh, um, derived from uh, uh, the embryonic dorsal aorta. Uh, they are um, spontaneously immortalized and they express many angioblastic markers uh, such as CD34, FLIC, or CKIT. And also they can differentiate into uh, most of the uh, mesoderm tissue. So they can differentiate into smooth, cardiac, skeletal myocytes, osteoblasts, osteoclasts, adipocytes, etc. Uh, it has been already uh, shown that uh, when they are uh, co-cultured with uh, uh, red, uh, neonatal red cardiomyocytes, they can differentiate into cardiomyocytes, and uh, here you can see the co-staining for uh, uh, myosin and uh, GFP, and also the co-expression uh, of uh, um, beta-gal and uh, troponin I. Uh, in a previous study that was performed several years ago, uh, we uh, injected uh, mesangioblasts in uh, infarcted uh, mice, and then uh, we uh, follow the myocardial function six weeks after uh, the injury. Here uh, you can see some uh, image from a 2D echo and the mod of, the, of um, those mice. Uh, the first image show uh, uh, normal or shame-operated rats with a, a good uh, wall function. And uh, the second one instead is a coronary artery located mouse uh, that show an impairment in the uh, wall motion and also an um, um, improvement, uh, increases actually, in the uh, end diastolic and systolic uh, diameter. And instead uh, we have uh, an important uh, uh, recovery of the myocardial function in uh, mice that were injected uh, uh, with the mesangioblast. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, those cells, or per the bone marrow stem cells, uh, reduced the heart dilation uh, by showing uh, decreases in end, end diastolic and then systolic uh, diameter. And they also improve uh, uh, myocardial function by measurement of a left uh, ventricle short infraction. Uh, however, when the heart section were uh, stained uh, in order to trace those uh, mesangioblasts, uh, it was found that only a few uh, differentiate uh, either into uh, endothelial cells or into uh, myocardial uh, myocytes. Uh, however, the majority uh, uh, differentiate into um, smooth muscle cells, as you can see here with the co-staining for smooth muscle actin and GFP. Uh, even in a model of uh, myocardial ischemia reperfusion, we were able to find some of GFP positive cells. However, they were very, very rare. Uh, so mesangioblast seems to act through uh, other mechanisms, such as an improvement in uh, uh, neovascularization. In fact, they also uh, produce uh, several uh, proangiogenic factors. And also, they have uh, uh, some anti-apoptotic action, either uh, both in vivo and in vitro studies. So, but why now in this study we decided to, uh, to use modified mesangioblasts expressing for PLGF, MMP9, or both? Uh, this was uh, actually a consequence of uh, another study performed by Dr. Kosu in uh, dystrophic mice, uh, where he injected a tendon fibroblast expressing for PLGF, MMP9, or both. And actually, it showed that uh, uh, only when uh, uh, there was uh, um, co-expression of, of MMP9 and PLGF, there was uh, an important and uh, significant improvement in the neoangiogenesis uh, that could be also observed uh, uh, microscopically after uh, uh, kinase ink injection before sacrificing the animals. And this improvement in the vascularization was also associated with uh, uh, um, almost a recovery of, of the um, uh, muscle fibers. So for this, then, uh, we decided to study the effect uh, of uh, uh, mesangioblast uh, injection, or uh, mesangioblast modified uh, by infection with lentiviral vectors expressing for a PLGF or MMP9 or both factors in a model of myocardial infarction. Actually, we decided also to use two different models of myocardial infarction. One was uh, uh, with uh, um, an ischemia reperfusion model, and another one was a permanent coronary artery ligation. 
We also decided to inject the cells either into the left uh, ventricle cavity or into the left ventricle free wall. So we hypothesized that uh, uh, these uh, messenger blasts modified to express uh, uh, MMP9 or PLGF or both uh, would uh, localize in the cardiac tissue around the lesion and also will release uh, a lot of amounts of uh, growth factors. So they will create a favorable niche, uh, for example, by improving neoangiogenesis, such to uh, favoring the uh, migration, the homing of uh, progenitor cells, and this uh, will ultimately improve survival and functional recovery. Uh, here are some um, two uh, figures from the two models that we use. The coronary artery ligation was used also because uh, this was the model that uh, was used in the previous studies uh, uh, with the mesangioblast. Uh, it is a very stable model, however, it produces uh, an important injury into the heart because basically all the irrigation below the uh, coronary ligation is uh, shut down and there is uh, an important uh, formation of uh, scar tissue. Instead, the schema reperfusion model is characterized by a reperfusion of the uh, subepicardial and subendocardial layers, and um, um, it is a, a more clinical relevant model. And uh, also, uh, the reperfusion itself is kind of a rescue intervention that will allow for the um, progenitor cells, or in this case for the mesangioblast, to reach the area at risk and uh, improve the homing of those cells. Uh, these are the experimental uh, models, uh, methods. Uh, we uh, used uh, more than 100 uh, uh, female mice. 70 underwent uh, permanent coronary artery ligation. 53 underwent uh, 45 minutes of ischemia, followed uh, by reperfusion. And then uh, uh, they were divided to uh, receive uh, injection of uh, 100,000 uh, mesangioblasts into the left ventricle uh, free wall, or 300,000 into the left ventricle chamber. Uh, four weeks later, we um, measured the uh, functional recovery by uh, echocardiography. And uh, in the most promising group, then we went further for histopathological examination. Uh, the uh, injection into the left uh, ventricle chamber was performed uh, one hour uh, later, uh, one hour after the ischemic perfusion of a coronary artery ligation, up to, two hour, uh, up to four hours later. And in instead, uh, for the uh, free wall injection, this was performed 15 minutes after the ischemic injury, uh, in order to not reopen again the chest. Uh, here is some detail about the, the um, free wall injection. Uh, some of the, of the cells were also injected together with some colored microspheres in order to retrieve for weeks later the area of injection. Uh, these are instead uh, some um, image about the uh, left ventricle chamber injection that was performed without reopening the thorax again. So these are the experimental groups. We have ischemia reperfusion, permanent ischemia, left wall injection, and the left uh, ventricle uh, chamber injection. And then we have injection of PBS or MAPS expressing PLGF, MMP9, or both of them. Uh, um, regarding the survival, uh, we observed that uh, the, um, the ischemic reperfusion model uh, there was uh, a higher mortality compared to the coronary artery ligation model. However, uh, more than 70% of the animals uh, achieved uh, the uh, four weeks of observation, and instead 90% of animals uh, survived in the coronary artery ligation. Here are uh, reported the couple million only for the groups uh, where we observed some some mortality, uh, because for all the other groups, instead of we had a uh, hundred percent of survival. Uh, when we look to the echocardiography, uh, these are the data for the ischemia reperfusion model with the uh, uh, intracavitary injection of uh, MEBS. And uh, uh, first of all, if we look to the shem operator and the PBS, uh, we can see the um, characteristic change that follow the ischemia reperfusion model. So we have a uh, heart dilation with the increases in the left ventricle and diastolic and then systolic uh, diameter. A decreases in the uh, short infraction and in the ejection fraction, and also uh, mm, a wall thickening in the anterior and posterior wall. Uh, when we look to the group uh, of animals that received uh, modified map maps, uh, we observed actually uh, only some uh, trend through the improvement in uh, uh, animals receiving map maps uh, expressing for MMP9. Uh, so with a better uh, short infraction and ejection fraction. However, uh, we didn't reach uh, any statistical uh, significance. Uh, 
Uh, when we look to the intra-wall injection, instead uh, also here there was a trend uh, um, favoring the uh, MAB expressing uh, MMP9. However, uh, this was the group uh, uh, in which we had a, a higher mortality, so uh, for, for this number we, we cannot uh, um, give any conclusion. Uh, when we look to the coronary artery legation and the intracavitar injection, uh, here it was surprising because actually we didn't find any improvement uh, with any kind of treatment uh, with the MABs. Uh, however, when, when uh, we look to the, uh, to the model with the intra-wall injection, uh, here there was uh, a significant improvement in uh, animals receiving MABs uh, expressing MMP9. So there was uh, a reduction in the left ventricle and diastolic uh, uh, diameter, an improvement or a shortening fraction and uh, ejection fraction. Uh, here there are some details uh, with uh, less uh, heart deletion and the improvement uh, in the uh, shortening fraction. So for this group only we decided to went uh, through uh, for the histopathology examination and uh, we um, measure infarct size, capillary density and cross-sectional area and uh, interstitial collagen deposition. Uh, we observed that uh, actually again only in the group with uh, uh, MAPS expressing MMP9 there was an improvement in the uh, infarct size of about 16%. Uh, the capillary density improved also again only in this group compared to the other two group uh, receiving uh, MAPS. And there was also less uh, uh, my, uh, myocytes hypertrophy. In fact, the cross-sectional area uh, was significantly lower in, in, those in this group of animals. So here is some detail. The capillary density was improved. Uh, it was measured in the uh, border area. Uh, the infarct size, uh, there was a trend through uh, an amelioration also in the group expressing PLGF. However, um, the, the greater improvement was observed only uh, after um, injection of MAMPS co-expressing for MMP9. And the cross-sectional area, uh, again, was significantly lower in, uh, in the group of uh, uh, mice treated with MAPS expressing MMP9. So basically, both models of myocardial infarction with and without uh, reperfusion, and both type of cells injection, intra-left uh, ventricular chamber and intra-wall, led to results consistent with those previously ob obtained in our laboratory in terms of survival and left ventricle uh, remodeling. However, intra-wall injection of uh, uh, mesangioblast expressing MP9 after permanent coronary artery ligation ameliorated the left ventricular remodeling at, at echocardiography and reduced the infarct size and myocytes hypertrophy uh, while improved the capillary density. Uh, however, these beneficial effects were not significant uh, in the model of ischemia reperfusion and also were not significant after treatment uh, with uh, uh, MAPS expressing for PLGF and uh, for a mix of PLGF and MMP9. And these actually are really, um, the results are difficult to explain and I hope uh, to have some good feedback from the audience. Uh, for the future study, now we are going to, um, to study the expression of PHF and MP9 in the infarcted area and the spared myocardium, and also the tissue distribution of these two growth factors in the heart by Malditov. Also, we will uh, trace the maps, and probably we are going to reconsider the ischemia reperfusion model uh, because uh, it is uh, a more uh, mm, clinically relevant model. And also, here we observe a trend through the improvement, however, because of the number of animals, the results were not conclusive. Uh, thank you very much for the attention. <laughs>